Hello, welcome to another video. So it's been a week now since we spanned the Distro Spinner Wheel and it gave us Salient OS. So it's time to update you guys on how I found it. Before I do that though, I just want to give you a little update on how I'm going to be doing the Distro Spinner Wheel moving forward. I think I made a bit of a, bit of a mistake the way I've been doing it. So I've wanted to keep the element of surprise for both me and you. So when I've been uploading the videos of the Distro Spinner, you'll notice there's no titles of the Linux distributions in them. That's going to stay, apart from after the week, you're going to get a separate video of the distribution I was using that I got on the wheel, but it's going to have its own video about my final thoughts and stuff like that, and then you're going to have a separate video of me spinning the wheel and setting up the new distribution. Then in the following week, it's going to be the same. You're going to have two videos of me giving you my final thoughts on the distribution we got the week before, and then you're going to get a video of me spinning the wheel and setting up the distribution for the week ahead. I should have done that before, I just wasn't using my big boy brain, so... <laughs> But we've worked it out now um, and also before I give you my final thoughts on this I'm just going to sort of mention there was an issue that we had with updating it. So off camera I've done a little bit of sort of trial and error and we got it going absolutely fine. However on Silent Robot's YouTube channel he has updated a video with sort of a, a manual intervention fix. So I will link in the description just in case anyone wants to follow that if they've run into an issue with their updater or anything. Um, I think that's the boring stuff out of the way is it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's get moving. Right. The only thing that I felt I needed to change, and I haven't changed sort of the overall paradigm or dynamic of the desktop, I've just changed the way it's done. So if you remember in the first video, we had a free panel set up, free XFCE panels. We had two at the top, which basically was exactly the same as the one panel I've got now, but it was separated into two and it was all transparent. And then you had a, another XFCE panel at the fore with sort of you know a load of quick launches, quick launches, and then you had your Windows buttons up here at the top left, all transparent up here. The only reason I've changed it because I do actually like the design choice there, but the issue for me is when you don't use a solid colour as your background, which I very rarely do because I much prefer a nice sort of flashy wallpaper. It doesn't look quite right. So if you've got a solid transparent colour there, yeah, and then you go to here and you do a full screen. It doesn't, it doesn't look visually appealing to me that. It looks absolutely fine with a solid colour because then it just looks like your whole bar, doesn't it? But the minute you've got a wallpaper that has sort of colour shifts and things like that, it just didn't look quite right to me. So I've, I've consolidated it into one panel and then I've just gave it from the system theme and then I've just got both on 95 on the enter and leave. So I've got a little bit of transparency there but not too much. And then it just follows the arc theme setup. So that's fine for me. And then as I say, I've removed the panel at the bottom and then I've replaced it with a plank. The only reason I've done that is I don't like having quick launches that don't minimise into themselves, if you know what I mean. So I don't like the idea of sort of, let's pretend this is just quick launches. I don't like the idea of clicking that and then sort of the Windows buttons up here because then it's sort of like, you know, I'm going between two things. I'd rather just have it all in one. Um, and I could have done that a separate way. So I had two ways of doing this. I was going to try it with dot bar X and then keep the panel and I might still try that but I just thought you know what plank isn't that memory intensive and it looks nice so I'm just going to do it with plank so we've got a plank on one panel and for me that's fine um, that's just personal taste though just purely because I like to have a wallpaper otherwise if I was happy to have a solid colour or a wallpaper that doesn't have too much changing of colours at the top I would have kept it as the defaults there and I wouldn't have worried I probably still would have installed Doc Bar X though purely because I don't like the idea, as I say, of a quick launch and a Windows button. It throws me off because then I'm, I don't know where I'm clicking all the time. But other than that, I've not really changed anything. I've uninstalled a couple of applications that I don't use. I uninstalled Olive. I just didn't really feel I needed it. And I uninstalled FileZilla because I don't really have a website anymore that I need FileZilla for. I did back in the day, so I usually would have kept FileZilla on here. But as I've got no need for FileZilla, if any, if I need to do any sort of SFTP or FTP stuff, I just, you know, I use the baked in stuff and that's fine for me. So that's kind of the only changes we've made. So I'm just going to talk about the package selection, which actually I think for me is brilliant. I've not really had to download anything extra, which is quite novel. So I'm used to getting a distribution and doing a minimal install and then just installing everything I want because obviously... You know, we've all got our own opinions of what packages we want and what's best for certain jobs. Well, fortunately, they've done quite a good job here, Salient OS, identifying the sort of packages someone like me would want from a you know an out-of-the-box installation. As I say, you've got Lutris here. 
I haven't used Luchas much apart from to have a couple of games on, on, on Magic the Gathering Arena. I need to get back into that actually. Um, but I've mainly been playing a few games on Steam and we're going to go through some Steam games in a moment and sort of benchmark a couple of them. I have already benchmarked some of them off camera so I know that it scores pretty good actually. Um, so let's just get into it. Let's keep going. So one game I have been playing here, I know there's a newer one out now but I haven't actually played that one yet um, so I will transfer and play that one at some point but Mortal Kombat X, I just love the game of Mortal Kombat X. Um, yeah, I've just been sort of playing around with Mortal Kombat X. I did do a few online games, but they're not very good players on the PC. Um, maybe it's because they use... I don't know, maybe they use their keyboards or something to play a fighting game, which I wouldn't personally advise. But um, as you can see, though, this game is locked at FPS, 60 FPS maximum, and we haven't gone over that once so in the top right there so we're on at 30 now in the menu screen but when you're playing you're going to get a constant 60 fps so that's Mortal Kombat I will run through the benchmark I think it's got a benchmark on here so I'll run through the benchmark with you quickly as well just to show you how that goes let's run the benchmark your current benchmark results are high performance yes we do want to run it again so we're going to run it again and then I'm just going to be quiet There we go, so we got high FPS, best for online experience. I knew it was already a good benchmark on that though. So that was Mortal Kombat X. I think that's probably one of the only controller games I've been playing. I have got Tekken on here. I haven't played Tekken on here yet though. I might get into Tekken, Tekken 7. Um, I was quite obsessed with fighting games for a bit, so that's why you might see me play the odd fighting game here and there. Right, let's jump into a different game that I have tested out so right i'm also going to do a shadow of mordor benchmark purely because i have also benchmarked it on the channel beforehand as well so we're going to do that now let's just skip all of this boring stuff let's go to options and we're going to go to benchmark and we'll see what we scores on this right i'm just going to shut up and let that do that Keeping quite a steady frame rate, I will say. So here's where it's going to go up. Right, so we've got an average frame rate there of 78.62, and then our max was 139, and our minimum was one was 43.80. Um, I'll go back to one of my old videos and measure that up to something to see how well that is. It might have got a better average than Clear Linux, but um, don't quote me on that until I go back to my other video. Okay, and the next game we're going to take a look at doesn't appear to actually have a benchmarking on it, which is Metro Exodus. And I haven't actually played it too much. I was thinking of, if you guys would be interested in it, doing some game streams and maybe this being one of the first games that we play through together. So. Um, it's, it's playing at a reasonable sort of 60 FPS here at the moment um, but as I say I'm kind of I'm getting 40 there now 60 this is in the highest settings but what I'm gonna do is we're gonna leave this one because if you are interested in having that sort of as a thing that we do maybe weekly we just you know sit and play for a couple of hours let me know and let me know if in this game in particular is something you like the idea of so just some final thoughts on this distribution it kind of does feel like it's just been designed for someone like me it's got all of the packages i would tend to usually download myself even down to the theming so i know the default theme wasn't the theme that we have got but it includes arc out of the box so the default themes are nice as well and again it even includes the default arc icon theme which is enough to put a little smile on my face um, using it just to create content has been brilliant so it comes with everything that I tend to use um, and, and some extra stuff that I hadn't, I hadn't used um, 
including olive which I, as I said I did subsequently uninstall but for the most part I've you know Caden lives on here you've got Gimp, OBS was there, Audacity, Handbrake so everything that I personally use to create content for the channel bar a couple of things was there so I also use OpenShot for like a really quick and dirty edit so if, if I don't need too much going on I'll just use OpenShot sometimes I know that they've got a new version though that looks quite interesting so I might look into that um, and then just the overall selection of packages is just perfect you know you've got your discord you've got your telegram it doesn't have VLC that's the one thing that you might want um, VirtualBox it also does include again so I've tested a couple of distributions also while I've been on here that will be making their way onto the channel maybe uh, this one's an Android based one and then there's another Android based one that I won't go into yet but it's been a really fun experience and I actually would recommend this to someone who's into gaming that wants a nice fast distribution that includes a lot of the packages that they're going to need to get them going I am going to be keeping this on this computer but what I'm going to have to do is because it's on a hard drive that I tend to use for you know distro hopping for the channel so what I'm going to have to do is format this drive and then format another drive and put a fresh installation of salient on there and also so what I'm going to do in regards to the distro spinner videos I'm going to keep like a leaderboard right so each time a distribution is you know each time I do a distribution I'm going to rate it I'm not sure how I'm going to rate it yet because you know once you give something a 10 there's nowhere to go after that but I, I don't want it to be as rigid as that I kind of just want like a 1 to 5 or maybe 1 to 10 depending on how far we get with it but I'm going to keep like a leaderboard of each distribution probably on the same page where I keep the wheel like next to it or something where I will rate you know 1 to 5 maybe and then if something knocks it out of the 5th place it'll be you know what I mean just so um yeah just so people know you know how we found it and what has really stuck out to me so i should have thought about that before but again we wasn't using our big boy brain but we are this time and it's going to be good so if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe and make sure you don't miss the distro spinner video that's going to be on tonight um i'll spin the wheel and we'll record a video later so hopefully we'll have that video up on nine tonight and yeah if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye